Before Natalie can tackle the deficiencies in Joanne's diet, she first needs to understand the extent of her problem with food and find out how hard she's willing to push herself to change. I think going beyond anything she's used to is going to be a real struggle for her. I want her to be able to see progress in her sight rather than seeing it as a really daunting task. Today I think that Natalie's going to try and make me eat things that I don't normally. Um, so I just need to try and keep calm when I'm starting to feel anxious. If I walk in and I smell fish, I'll want to run out. What the purpose of this session is for me to really find out where your boundaries might be and why as well. What's going on? Is it the texture? Is it the smell? Is it just the taste? And then that way, it helps me know where we go next. You see, I think that for a lot of people who have a restricted diet like yours, fruit is often a good place to start. I like, I mean, I like orange juice. What but about I usually drink it without pork. kiwi or apple? I'll have a go at talk. kiwi. Does that not just smell lovely and fresh and juicy? Yeah, I also imagine what, because of the colour, what it's going to taste like. Because this is green, it's going to taste like the colour green. Does that make you think that I'm mentally unstable saying that? That's not too bad. <laughs> Surprised, actually. That looks like you like kiwi fruit. It's OK. I could get used to it. <laughs> Since you're feeling pleased with yourself, I think we should dive in a bit deeper here and go for one of the protein group foods. With my challenge in mind, I know that ideally, because it's a barbecue, trying to get used to meat would be a good thing. Uh, no, that puts me off. Just when I, when I was thinking about this before, I thought bacon might be OK, but now I'm looking at it. OK, I'm not sure I'll be able to swallow this. This will be the first time in her life that Joanne has tried to eat meat. OK, I'm just going to have to leave this in here for a minute. Uh... So... Ooh, that makes me feel ill. <sighs> but do you see... The leap from what you thought mentally, didn't think you could even put it in your mouth. Yep. And you did. Yeah. Now, I know that was really hard. Yeah. But <laughs> you made the steps. When Joanne also manages a bite of tomato and a sliver of grapefruit, Natalie thinks it's time to show her a simple fruit and chocolate milkshake to bring vitamin C into her diet. I'm not convinced, but let's give it a go. Mm. So was that the taste that made you gag? Mm. I'm surprised that this bit almost seems harder. I think, Joe, to start with, it's going to be a case of getting used to forcing everything down you. Yeah. But you've done it, and you've shown yourself you can do it.